Today here in the dungeon, we're checking out the Switchblade Plus ABY switch from Electro Harmonics. Okay, I have to admit this is going to be a little bit different from a standard uh, pedal demo because recently my subscribership on this channel went from about right at about 300 subscribers all the way up to almost 1100. So it has almost quadrupled in the span of about two weeks. Uh, so thank you very, very much for those of you that those of you new subscribers that took the time to hit the, the subscribe button and support my channel. Uh, it means an awful lot to me and uh, it's, it's really cool stuff for me. So in honor of crossing over the 1000 subscriber mark, I decided that I would do something I have never done before. In all my years of playing guitar and messing with guitar gear and all this stuff in this room, one thing I have never messed with at all is stereo rigs. So we're gonna play with stereo rigs today. Just to give you an idea of what we got going on here, I've got uh, just a couple of effects pedals that are running through the effects loops of two different amps. Uh, the Line 6 Space Chorus pedal, which is probably the most bizarre chorus pedal I've ever owned because it seems to do something different every single time I plug it in, whether I want it to or not. Uh, but it's kind of cool. And uh, I honestly, I mainly grabbed it because it was the only chorus pedal that I have with stereo inputs on it. And of course, my old trusty Boss DD7 digital delay pedal with the FS5U foot switch attached to it for tap tempo purposes. Uh, still probably my all-time favorite delay pedal. And then of course, uh, through the front, we have the guitar plugged into the Switchblade Plus, and uh, the outs are going into the two different amplifiers. The amps that we're using are the Randall RD20 head that I've used in a lot of my videos, the Diablo series head, and uh, we'll call that the primary amp or amp A. And then the slave amp or amp B is the Randall MTS series module head, the RM22. Uh, and again, I will have a complete list of all the gear and the signal path used in this video in the credits section at the end of this video if you want to see exactly how I've got the signal going. Uh, but for general purposes, I just wanted everybody to see how I had this set up and what I'm going to do with it. So what I'm going to do here is play a clean single coil tone, a clean humbucker tone, and a distorted humbucker tone through each amp individually and then both amps together. I have both cabinets mic'd up with an Audix i5, uh, two different Audix i5s, but they're the same model microphones. So uh, we should be able to hear the difference in tone pretty closely from one amp to the other. And, uh, and then again, we're going to see what it sounds like when we blend the whole thing together. So, let's get to it.
definitely a fun experiment that is a killer killer tone with both amps going at the same time a good little ABY box runs on both batteries and AC uh, the only thing that the, you really you need power for is the lights to work in it it is a, actually a passive box so you don't have to have power to run it but having the LEDs on for both switches is awfully helpful to know what you have running and what you don't you know, definitely 40 bucks well spent, particularly in an, in an environment like this. A really cool way to beef up your tone. Uh, certainly beefed up my tone quite a bit. Uh, I can't wait to hear how it comes out on the recording. The only thing I will say is it's a little bit noisy, and uh, the next time I try this, I'm probably going to throw a noise suppressor of some kind in front of it uh, to try and tame it down a little bit because it is pretty noisy. So again, thank you so much for supporting my channel. It means an awful lot to me. If you enjoyed this video, or any of my other videos for that matter, please consider subscribing to my channel. I do upload new videos every Wednesday and Saturday morning. If you have experience using stereo rigs, let me know what your tricks and tips might be down in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear it, and so I can try it and experiment with it myself. Again, thank you so much for watching. More to come soon.
You know what? There are tons of young people out there that want to get involved in music and do not have the means to do so. If you are watching this video, most likely you're a musician and many experienced musicians have tons of broken and unwanted gear lying around that they're not doing anything with. Please visit my friends at Share the Music on Facebook at the link below and learn how you and your unwanted gear can help change somebody's life.